So I probably should have started this a while ago, but I suppose now is as good a time as ever. I thought I'd start to document the uh, kind of underside refresh of the like that I'm doing on my Scirocco. Uh, as you can see, it's already kind of in a million bits. Uh, got the rear subframe bits and pieces there. And I've started already taking it back to bare metal and priming some areas. And uh, we'll take a look. So I guess we'll start at the back where I started anyway. Um, as you can see in here, it's all been taken. Everything's been removed from the underside for a start anyway. Um, there's just, well, the only thing that's left on it just now is the brake lines and the handbrake cables, but, oh, and the fuel lines obviously, but um, the handbrake cables and the brake lines will be coming off anyway and probably getting replaced. Um, if we start inside the fuel well, arch, whatever we call it, um, it's all been taken back to bare metal in here, uh, rust treated, and then just been given a quick clear primer just to keep the rust off it while, um, while I get the rest of it done. Um, I'll probably rub it back a bit, uh, re-seam sealer all the joins, and then a um, couple more layers of primer, and then undercoat it. That's that first arch. The um, other arch is the same. It's a bit messy just now because I'm still in the middle of grinding, but as you can see, it's it's a bit th the primer's a bit thin on this side, and there's still some rust coming through. So I'll have to go back to this arch and uh, sand it a bit more before I prime it properly. Down to the front arch now. This one's again still a bit thin because I was in a rush while I was doing it, but I'm going to take the the wings off. Hopefully um, this week sometime, so I can get right in about up there and uh, get all that sanded back and primed up. I'll need to remove this uh, brake line still because um, they'll be getting replaced with braided ones when it gets assembled back together. But that's a quick kind of, you can see what's happening there. As you can see, this is kind of what it there originally looked like. I haven't done this one yet, um, but some bits of paint I touched up some bits a while ago, but um, that's what obviously it did look like, but it gets taken back right back to bare metal and uh, all the seam seal are removed. Everything like that. Just so it gives it a fresh start. And there should be never any problems in the future. The uh, the chassis notch will be getting sorted out a bit. It's a bit small just now for my liking. And I'll need to take the DPF off. Um, when I got under there as well. But as you can see, I've got the whole, most of the car uh, covered up. I haven't um, neatened up the front yet because I'm still taking out what I'm going to take off the wings. If you go right around the back here, it's all uh, taped up so it should be kept kind of pretty clean until it goes back together. Um, go look underneath. Uh, started underneath here today so um, there's a mess of seam sealer everywhere. It's all coming off, but it's going all nicely under here. Um, it's going to take a long time, obviously, getting everything back to bare metal and uh, kind of keeping it rust free. It's not, the rust isn't too bad, it's, it's, there's no rot, it's all just surface rust underneath there. So, as you can see, it's still pretty clean inside the exhaust tunnel. Bits and pieces like that. All that bits will need to be masked up and stuff like that when I get down to there. This will all be rust treated again before it gets primered. I'm still in the middle of doing this, that's why there's bits still to do. Seam sealer flaked off everywhere. What I'm using to do all this is just a grinder with various different wire wheels. This one's a bit worn now. Um, that's like the twist knot ones, there's just the, the kind of, I don't know what you'd call that, but a different style wire brush one, and then there's the, the cup with the twist knot on them, twist knot wires. Um, these two, the twist knots are definitely the better ones, this is more if you're just kind of, I don't know, taking the factory paint and stuff off, or the coating and stuff like that, that's definitely better for the 
taking the rust and the seam sealer off. Uh, any flat areas that need a, a good buff up, we've got the flap disc for the grinder. And then any little wee areas, like corners and stuff like that, I've got some different bits for the drill. Some different, uh, like a cup shape one for there. Small circle and a bigger circle, but just as you're going along, you can uh, just use what you need to use. I do have a normal hand wear brush here, but that really gets used because it's pretty much useless in here. Um, obviously, obviously you need to be using like protective equipment while doing this because you will get covered in shit. Um, got a ni nice one, they're not even nice, they're just a cheap set of goggles. They steam up all the time, so I'm stopping every five minutes to bloody clean them. Um, definitely a, recommend a good mask, like the, the wee paper masks that you get, they're going to be useless because you're going to be wearing them for a long period of time. So uh, I've just got an M3 mask, M3, a 3M mask, sorry, with the, the two filters on it and got a bunch of spare filters here. And a decent set of gloves. Um, I wear the, the latex ones underneath and then just a pair of these on top because if that grinder catches your fingers uh, with a wire brush on it will cut your fingers because it's happened to me already and it's pretty sore. <laughs> also got a couple of different torches. Uh, now wear a head torch on all the time just so whatever I'm looking I can kind of see some stuff. I've also got um, just this little torch here uh, which is pretty good for, well, it's, it's pretty bright so it's good for just having on like laying next to me while I'm lying on, the back, on my back. And then I've got uh, this like kind of inspection style torch as well. Um, again, they can just lay it on the floor facing up towards underneath the car. Or you can just stick it to stuff, obviously stick it to stuff. But a um, couple more attachments there for the drill where I need them. But um, yeah. But pretty much the whole idea of this is just to kind of give the whole underside a wee refresh. It's not a wee refresh, it's quite a big refresh in it anyway. The like, the whole front ends off this uh, rad pack will be getting stripped down. Um, the crash bars will be a way to get shot blasted and powder coated. They'll just be get done black. The, uh, you need to get a new subframe, front subframe, because the car used to be static, I like very low before, and it's quite worn and a bit fucked really, so I'm just gonna get a, guess, a decent second hand one off of eBay. Uh, the bags for the front, or well, the bags all around will be refurbished. Uh, strip the bottom collars back and uh, either get them repowder coated or paint them. Uh, get new bearings for the top mounts. The steering rack, it'll be cleaned up and kind of bits painted where it needs to be. New track rod ends, new uh, track rods, is that what they're called? I don't know what they're called. But anyway, new, uh, new bits here. Um, what else is there? Um, some bucket seats to go in the car when it goes back together, they're just Carbo, if, you want, if that's how you pronounce it, Carbo Club Sports. Need to get some rails made up for them. I've got the, the rear subframe here and the rear crash bar, uh, front and rear anti roll bar, um, spring mount, I guess you could call it, or bag mount, it'll be in my case, for the rear. Uh, I don't know what you call them, to be honest. Uh, trailing arms and the holders for them. Uh, most of the bushes have been removed, ready for getting like the whole car be poly bushed when it goes back together. I've got um, alloy rear, alloy rear, um, alloy front and rear hubs because they come with uh, alloy rear hubs anyway. Bought some front ones off an S3 and some lower wishbones for the front and alloy off an S3 too. Um, in amongst all that shit there, there's some S3 rear brakes to go on it, so they'll be 310mm on the rear. And I'll be going for the Porsche 18Z uh, calipers for the front with 250mm discs, I think it is. Um, it'll be as much brand new stuff on it as it can be, so I've got new rear shocks, new rear top mounts to go on. Um, what else is there? There's the exhaust kind of sitting there, the, the R32 style uh, exhaust for the back, new heat, sh well not new heat sh shield, that's the old heat shield. Uh, unsure yet whether to get some new ones or just leave them off. 
we've got the uh the fuel tank sitting there um bunch of bits and pieces and boxes um that's some of the old hubs and shite lying there stuff that's not gonna be used drive shafts and that um yeah so that's about it the goal is kind of to have the car out for uh Modified Nationals on the, I think it starts on the 29th of May. It's like a three day show over that weekend. So we've got uh, 163 days left. Um, small quick list just on the board um, with the bigger stuff that's got to get done. Um, there's still obviously a lot of little bits and pieces I've got to buy and sort out uh, before then. But um, I thought I'd set a deadline for getting the car back out or else uh, I guess it'll never get done. I'll just keep adding more and more stuff onto the list. And then uh, before I know it, it'll be the end of the year again. And uh, it'll still be sitting here. <laughs> so I pretty much just wanted to document uh, the, my process of doing this, since there's not many people done it on YouTube. Um, and I'll just update, I guess, as I go along. Um, it is the middle of December just now, so it's pretty cold. So kind of picking my days to come down um, it's a bit warmer, but it's kind of nice and close in here. So it's kind of, once you get working, you're not too cold. Um, it's definitely better doing it in here than it would be outside because fuck covering the car um, up on the natural stand outside for fucking months on end. So yeah, 